Lots of expectations for this mission. A blade embraces its duty. Lots and lots of expectations for this mission. So, yeah. Let's go. From Sumeru... ...to Liwe. Oh, there's Ganyu. Oh, yeah, we have like Dendro... I need to change her sword, but I guess we're gonna do that later. I don't know what sword to give to her. Oh, yes! Yes! They have the audacity to go after anything! The Seven... Dragons... Gods... No ancient artifact that relates can escape their greedy ambit. Still, this time is different. Who do they think they are going after the Abyss Order's treasures? Oh, Traveler, it's you. I hate Lun so much. I hate her so much. Huh? Ganyu, what are you doing here with Lun? Do you have a commission you need to post? Hello. We were just discussing the treasure hoarders. Yes. We were just saying how even the audacious treasure hoarders should know better than to mess with the Abyss. It's just too evil. But we recently received intel from the Ministry of Civil Affairs that two big-time treasure hoarders in Liyue and Mondstadt are planning some big joint operation. Oh. Two big-time treasure hoarders? Yes. They're known as Big Sis of the South and Raptor of the North. Oh. Oh, Raptor! Oh, yeah. I remember she tried to run away from Amber and Mondstadt. But who is Big Sis of the South? I remember we went to, like... The, um... Uh, hideout. Is she the boss the treasure hoarders refer to? You already know something, then. I guess you must have crossed paths with the treasure hoarders many times before. You are correct. She's the head of the treasure hoarders in Liyue. As I understand it, the treasure hoarders all call her boss. Some say that the god of thieves even bestowed a gift upon her for her exploits, making her big sis of the gods. But that's probably just a wild rumor. Anyway, the treasure hoarders discovered some previously unexplored ruins that the Abyss Order has been secretly guarding in the shadows. Despite how dangerous that makes it, all the treasure hoarders can think about is what kinds of treasure could be inside. Hmm. They have already devised a plan. They will send out a decoy to divert the Abyss Order's forces away from the ruins, then send an expert thief inside to steal the treasure. Right. To this end, Big Sis and Raptor have reportedly recruited a certain Grand Thief from Fontaine. Grand Thief? That's quite an impressive sounding title. From Fontaine? Where is Fontaine? Oh, indeed. He is an extraordinary individual. The Grand Thief is highly respected in the Treasure Hoarders, in the same way that we adventurers look up to great adventurers. Just like the great adventurer Stanley, just like the famous adventurer Alice? Alice, ah, I guess? so you're familiar with the author of the Tavat Travel Guide, then. A Correct. Sumeru. The Grand Thief is someone as renowned as her. So, despite being relative big-timers in Liwa and Mondstadt, Big Sis and Raptor had to put in a lot of work to convince a thief of his status to come and personally oversee this operation. Hmm. With the major changes in Liwa recently, the Ministry of Civil Affairs and the Millilith already have their hands full. They don't have any time to investigate rumors about treasure hoarder activity. Right. But anything related to the Abyss makes me feel like there is some unknown danger lurking beneath the surface. So I decided to come to the Adventurer's Guild to post a commission. Uh, my adventure rank is 34 and 1 5 star. Yes, thank you, Ari. Thank you. I too understand the dangers of the abyss. Mm -hmm. Leave this commission to us! Oh, thank you so much. Good to see this in the hands of a reliable guild member. Well then, good luck. The guild will take care of the details of this commission. Wylan kind of sounds like Mona. I don't think she sounds like Mona, but she sounds like a bitch. <laughs> she kind of a bitch. Not gonna lie. The way she treated us when we got to Liyue, I'll never forget. We 
started. We will be re Oh god, I'm so scared. I'm so scared of this quest. Please. <sighs> or maybe that has nothing to do with our brother. I have no idea anyway. Call of the Abyss. My brother's crying right now. Haha. <laughs> Is he now? Okay. Oh, I was supposed to change Barbara. Oops. It's okay. Follow the treasure hoarders. Oh, uh, hold on. Paimon can be my new sibling. That's worse. <laughs> my sibling is Ayato. Because, you know, Ayaka. Okay. There are signs of treasure order activity here. They must have come to these ruins. Let's go deeper inside. I'm sure hopes Ganyu's information is reliable. Hi, Nora. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Oh, boy. Paimon lives in our pocket, exactly. These... These uh, ruins look really cool, though. There aren't many guards here. Looks like their plan to draw away the Abyss Order's forces really worked! Paimon's voice changed. Like, she sounded very mature for a second, didn't she? <sighs> Let this touch me. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, there was just. Or maybe I should let to see what happens. <laughs> oh! Oh. Oh, it's fine. Wait, but. The bubbles were fine, they killed me in the end. Uh, this bubble tea is really good, though, gotta say. Could it be the Grand Thief? Why is he in that position? Is he praying to something? Um, there's blood, isn't it? I think <gasps> he's dead. That's... A statue of the Seven? Why is the statue of the Seven hanging upside down? Wait, is, is that an Electro statue of the Seven? And the statue's hands... Paimon remembers they're normally holding an orb, right? What is going but on? This statue is holding... What is that? No, I've never tried it with cheese foam. I don't think we have that on my country. Uh, Paimon has a really bad feeling about this. And the Grand Thief hasn't moved an inch. Do, 
You think he's... Dead? Um... Hello? Are you okay, mister? There's no reaction or any sign of breathing. He... He's dead! Uh... Okay. Paimon doesn't feel so good. How did he die? Uh, let's get out of here. And fast! We should report back to Ganyu and Lan. <laughs> she is so scared. Ah! Now what? We can't stay here! Quick! Oh, ah! shit! What the hell is going on? Oh. <laughs> What is going on? <gasps> oh! <gasps> no! Hey, yo! That's kind of scary. Right! Oh god, it worked. Oh. Let's dance. See, that's why I was scared. Hello? on the secrets of the abyss wait i know this voice oh my god i know this voice from somewhere <laughs> you have come here you have seen our secrets for this you must pay the price as a herald i will mete out your punishment oh this is who dainsleaf was looking for an abyss herald the one Dane spoke of. Dane. Danesliff. Oh, I thought you were just a couple of pests that stumbled in here by mistake. So, you are with Danesliff, that constant annoyance in our affairs. Did he send you here to die? His resistance against the Abyss has gone nowhere for a long time. There is nothing you can do to change the tide. The Abyss is unstoppable. Not if I can change that. Oh, we're what fighting. Is this power? Pirates never seen it before. Careful, please don't get cocky. I'll try. <laughs> Solo, let's go. I see. So it's you. You are the one. In that case, I shall stay here no longer. <sighs> what a tough battle. Are you okay? Oh, such a strong enemy. A Who knew battle? the Abyss Order had monsters this powerful among them? A tough battle, Paimon! Really? Uh, it seemed to know me. Yeah, Barbara was... I I'm glad I pulled Barbara, to be honest. Huh? What is it? What are you thinking about? 
Nothing. Let's just get out of here. Oh, right. Yeah. We're near the exit now. Let's get out of this scary place before something even more dangerous shows up. Huh, but th that's so weird. That's how it ends. The traveler and Paimon swiftly leaves the ruins. Come nah. with me. Oh, dangerous. So, we meet again. A little sooner than I had expected. Hi. Hey, it's Dane! <laughs> Paimon? <laughs> like, you can't say that Paimon does not have a crush on him. It's so obvious. Judging by your expression, it seems you just experienced something quite strange. Yeah, it's a strange that you're here too. Could it but... be that you encountered an abyss herald in those ruins? We did. Huh? How did you know that? I've been on the abyss herald's trail. I didn't expect to find you here as well. Um. Actually, the abyss herald was not all we encountered. It was something even stranger than the abyss herald in the ruins. The Traveler tells Dane about the strange statue in the CC. An inverted statue of the Seven, yes. holding abyssal power in its hands. No, I have never seen such a thing during my time fighting the Abyss. Though I have had my suspicions. He is dripped. Tell me the rest of what happened in there. So you escaped the ruined depths filled with abyssal power, and then? And then, as we got close to the exit, an abyss herald suddenly appeared and blocked our way. We fought a big battle with that thing. Maybe it hasn't gotten too far yet. Yes, this is a rare opportunity indeed. Come, let's catch up to it. Yes, sir. <laughs> let's go! A rare opportunity? With Dane helping out, maybe we'll be able to solve more mysteries about the abyss. Are we playing Dane's Leaf now? Over night. Wait, we're going back here. I wonder why he's not a playable huh? character? Yeah, I don't understand why he's not. If child is. Let's dance. Oh god, I love this mages. Where the heck were you going? Take flight! Sakura swirl! I love this mages. Wow. Okay, he's kinda strong now. My boy Bennett. <laughs> nice, now the traveler works well with Bennett. Oh, too early Those for the because of the more. Were they trying to ambush us? I don't know, they were just trying to be annoying like they usually are. No. They were just digging through these abandoned ruin guards looking for something of value. Mm. Oh, is that so? The Traveler here seems to like doing that a lot too. Looking for chaos devices, chaos circuits, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't think they were looking for the same mm. stuff. They wouldn't be searching for such ordinary objects. In fact, I was nearby investigating precisely because abyss mages often come out from that ruin to explore. They seem to be searching the remains of ruin guards for a certain valuable object to take back to the ruins. However, they look disappointed, so it would seem they haven't found it yet. One thing that I don't understand, are we killing? Like, are we killing the hilly churls and the abyss mages, or are we just... Um, fainting them like Pokemon? Like, are we committing murder? We committing mass murder? Because, like, we're we're literally killing so many. Killing? Okay, we're we're killing a lot then. Well then, why didn't you grab one of them just now and ask what they were up to? Yeah, Master Dilux done that before. Should we bring 
like Master Dillock and that, you know. I what? certainly don't mean to be merciful towards these monsters of the abyss. Right. But I have a feeling that their plan with this object is of major importance to the entire Abyss Order. One cannot discover the truth behind it through interrogation. Or rather, these Abyss Mages likely fear something else, much more than they do a painful interrogation. Something related to what we saw in the ruins? Uh, Paimon is getting goosebumps thinking about all of this. Alright, we shouldn't waste too much time here. Let's continue our search. But but if we're killing like the Healy Churros, for example, isn't it kind of unfair? Because like, for example, we look at the Healy Churros sometimes and they're just like chilling, making food, making camp. Like, what if they're just trying to find a way to live? And we're just taking it away from them for no reason because oh we God. don't understand them. Hi, Mohammed. How are you doing? Like, maybe they're just... We go. They, they don't want to fight us, but they fight because they know we fight back. <laughs> because to me, it does not really make sense that the Healy Churros would just attack us. They are territorial. Maybe. There's a Geoculus over there. I should probably get it. My god, what is going on in this place? Everybody stand back out! Whoa. Huh? Whirling snow! Welcome back, Sammy. I have tried cold veins. Let's light it up. Propagate. Ready, steady, go. Protect us. <laughs> oh my God, Barbara! <laughs> Sorry, take it. Oh god! What is going on? Germinate! Scatter! Bro, what is going on? I'm going in! Whoa, I can't Why see it. I can't never see. miss! Adventure time! Alright, Roman, have a nice day! <laughs> Barbara got bitten like a rag doll. Listen. <laughs> wow. Besides the Abyss Order, Ruin Guards sure are active around here. Hmm. Seems wherever we find an Abyss Mage hideout, there's often a bunch of Ruin Guards roaming around too. Is that just a coincidence? Maybe they or... have. Maybe they activated the Ruin Guards. There are no coincidences in the world. Everything is the fruit of seeds planted long ago. Are you a Dendro character? Just like your appearance in that tavern. Ah. Time is just waiting for those seeds to sprout. But I only heard about you by chance. Forget it. Just some needless musings. The connection between the Abyss Order and the Ruin Guards is by no means incidental. Rather, they are both branches that have grown out and up from the same roots below. Branches? Roots? What do you mean exactly? Paimon's brain cell, only brain cell, is working overtime trying to understand that. Both originate from an ancient nation that was destroyed 500 years ago. Conria. Conria? Huh? Conria? Really? The Abyss Order and Ruin Guards are left over from after the destruction of that nation? Oh... Speaking of Conria, that's really a super ancient name! Oh, right. As your guide, Paimon should explain a bit here. A long time ago, the nation of Conria was... I know about Conria. Do we know? Huh? 
Uh, because I have memories of Cambria. Wait, are we from Cambria? You have memories of being there? But that nation was destroyed 500 oh, yeah. years ago! We were traveling, right? We like we, we travel like through time and stuff like that, don't we? Like, in the beginning, we... I think she mentions to Paimon that she... is old or whatever. Hmm. Is that so? Well, everyone has their secrets. You did not pry into mine, so I shall not pry into yours. But, if you would like to tell me, I will listen. So, the Kanria you saw, what was it like? Well, I can't hide from him any longer. Dane and Kanria, it's worth a shot. Yes, the Traveler tells Dane about the Sea of Flames they saw 500 years ago. So that's the complete story, huh? Paimon thought that you ran into that unknown god first! I see. So your first memory after coming to this world was being awoken by your brother from within that meteorite. It seems your brother woke up first. But the question is, how long before you? Wait, so if we are from Cumbria and our brother is currently with the Abyss Order, maybe there's a chance that... He wants revenge for something that happened in Conria all of these years ago? And that's why he's with the baddies? And then your brother told you that the destruction of Conria plunged the whole world into chaos. And that you two should leave this world called Tevat? The destruction of Conria? He said that? We're not from Conria, but if we're not from Conria, maybe we stayed in Conria at some point. And then, like, Eater or Lumine, in case we were playing as Eater. I don't know, like, it feels like maybe since Eater, the Abyss Order and the Ruin Guards are all from Kanria. I mean, Eater is not from Kanria, but we all woke up in Kanria. Maybe. Since Eater was already awake, he knows what happened for the destruction. And he wants revenge, or he wants to recover the world on how on the way it was before. I don't know. Maybe like they want to rest, uh, restore Kanria. Interesting speculation. Yeah, I don't know. I like to expe speculate. I speculate sometimes, leave me. <laughs> but yeah, that's what that's what I'm thinking right now with this story, with uh, the information that we have. That's what I heard at the time. That destruction you witnessed, that's history from 500 years ago. It seems the first time you awoke in this world was indeed during that period. Huh. So your brother must have understood this world better than you did, because he woke up first! And it was shortly after that that you encountered an unknown god who blocked your path, so you couldn't escape. You know, what if that god is Paimon? <laughs> the, the lady is Paimon. <laughs> Probably not, but like imagine if that lady is Paimon and Paimon is all this time like disguised as a friendly traveler companion. Oh, Paimon knows this part really well. I understand. When you awoke at that time and hurriedly tried to leave for another world, you didn't know anything about Kanria. But now, since you have come to gain some understanding of Tevat, you are able to guess that the war you witnessed all those years ago must be the war that ended Kanria. You must have been flipping through all sorts of books during our adventure these past few months. Before going to Mondstadt, you had just looked at some vague materials. Later, we managed to gather a whole bunch of old books from all around Mondstadt and Liyue, but you told Paimon they were useless. Huh. So, the whole time you were just trying to learn more about Conria so you could find your brother? Hmm, 
It's the second most promising lead after looking for the seven. Oh, yeah. You can travel around the seven nations to find the seven. But where can you go to find a nation that was destroyed 500 years ago? I probably know more about Kanria than both of you. Oh? Kanria was a nation without a god. Not because it had a god that died or abandoned them, but because it never had a god to begin with. It was a powerful nation, built purely by humans. An unprecedented, flourishing, and glorious civilization. Mm. It was the pride of humankind. A nation without a god? Later events unfolded just as you remember. It was all destroyed by gods. You mean that... Five hundred years ago, the gods descended upon the world and brought desolation to Kanya. The pride of humankind was uprooted and crushed, like a weed removed from the garden of the gods. How could that be? The history books don't say anything about that. That's horrible. Yes, well, continuing to discuss the past now will only dampen our spirits. Hmm, but the next time I see Venti or John Lee... Let's keep moving. I will tell you more of what you want to know as we continue our search. Any option that has John Lee's name, I'll press. <laughs> just, just because. La, 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 la. <clears throat> okay, we got here. Over there! It's more ruin guards and abyss mages. Yup. That's what it Dan is. I was just saying how these ancient machines are from Conria. Hmm. So, did Conria have a lot of ruins that needed to be guarded? No. Ruin Guard is the name modern people have given these machines. No one called them that 500 years ago. Wait, um, can I just mid conversation change the voice to Japanese so I can hear Kenjiro Tsuda speaking? Or, no. I can't. These ruin guards were known as field tillers by the people of Kanria. Field tillers? What a strange name. So, what's with the little weapons? It's not like you think. Field tiller was just a code name. The people of Kanria like to give code names to their weapons. The land is not to be tilled with farming tools, but rather is to be fought for with steel and blood. This is how the field tiller came about. Fought for with steel and blood? Well, that's an interesting way of understanding tilling. Uh, Paimon doesn't think it's a very positive interpretation. <laughs> After the destruction of Kanria, these masterless field tillers went completely out of control. Right. They wandered aimlessly over the centuries. Gradually spreading to every corner of Tevat. Perhaps resonating with the sorrow of other civilizations lost to time. They found their way to various ruins across the land, where they lie dormant. That sounds... so sad. Wandering aimlessly for 500 years. Once you understand more, those details won't mean much to you. Oh. But no matter their past, all that remains of them now is the danger they pose. So destroy them all. I feel like Dainsliff stands out too much against the other characters. You know, like, all the other characters, they do have, like, cool outfits. But, like, Dainsliff, they decided, like, he is going to have the best outfit in the game. Because, like, if you put him next to the other characters, he stands out. Like, you can definitely pick him out of, uh, of the bunch of the characters. I, for example, like, if you put Sino and Dainsliff... I'm gonna pick Dane's Leaf. If you put, you know, Dilluk and Dane's Leaf, it's gonna be Dane's Leaf. It's, if you put John Lee and Dane's Leaf, that's another story. But, yeah. Oh, we're fighting. Whirling snow. Excuse me. Sakura swirl. Who is a Dane's Leaf simp? You? Let the show begin. <laughs> Bennett is being thrown. Oh 
of us. This talisman seems connected to the Abyss Herald, but why would an Abyss Mage be carrying it? Perhaps it really does contain information about their operation. But... Byron can't read the writing on it. <gasps> Is that the script of Conria? Engulf the faith of the enemy in flame, and bring glory to His Highness the Prince. What? Is that what it says? What? Loom of Fate, initial operation. They, the Abyss, seem to be carrying out a large operation. The key word here is Loom of Fate. It seems like they are still launching the operation, or rather, are still conducting preliminary tests. Mm. Loom of Fate? What's that? Is it literally a fate-leaving machine? The Abyss Mage came from those ruins. It is related to the inverted statue. From the horrible feeling Paimon's been getting, those eerie ruins are super likely to be related to this fate-weaving operation. So, Dane, what message does this talisman contain? I'm reading it now. Hmm. An ambitious operation. But some parts are difficult to understand. So, Dane's life is from Fontaine. Is he the Archon of Fontaine? How so? In short, the first phase of the plan is related to Osile, Overlord of the Vortex. Osile? I don't the know. The Overlord of the Vortex? You mean that god in the ocean? It was just crushed by the Jade Chamber. Well, what do they want with Osile? Uh... Could it be the same as with Devalin? I know of your past heroics regarding Devalin. And I also know of the Abyss Order's role in the Storm Terror incident. Huh. Though you may not have been aware of it at the time, you were thwarting an Abyss Order operation similar to this one. Oh. Last time it was Venti's old friend. This time it's a huge ancient god. The Abyss Order keeps setting their sights higher and higher. Will the Abyss Order use their lies and dark magic to corrupt Osile, just as they did to Valen? No. From the contents of the talisman, this operation goes one step further. They won't just corrupt Osile's mind. They also plan to use the ancient technology behind the field tillers to completely transform Osile's body. But how? Is that even possible? So wait, the Abyss Order wants to make some sort of cybernetic squid god of mass <laughs> destruction? Oh, wow, those nicknames keep getting longer. Very few people today truly understand the civilization of Kanria. Right. Though if only oh, the sorry. Abyss Order has consistently sought out the remnants of Kanria. The talisman's message states that they will use the defiled statue as a base, attaching Osile's limbs to construct a mechanized god. Wait, are we fighting? Oh and god. And the new core that shall replace the orb usually held by the statue of the seven is the eye of the very first field tiller. We're fighting like a tentacle monster? The eye of the very first field tiller? <sighs> oh, Paimon gets it! All those abyss mages are looking for the special eye, right? It would seem so. They haven't found it yet. We still have time. Let's find the eye before they do. This whole thing keeps getting more complicated. But basically, it all has to do with that eerie statue of the Seven we saw, right? Yes. According to the talisman, the eye should be placed in the hands of the defiled statue. 
thereby imbuing the newly born god with the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Oh Celestia. boy, the Abyss Order sure isn't holding back with this plan. Hmm. Since no one knows where the first field tiller is, how about we take the information about the statue as the starting point for our investigation? It looks like the animal orphan? Yeah, that tone-deaf bard <laughs> is too difficult to track down anyway. Let's go to the cathedral first and ask around. Maybe we'll learn something. Poor Vanty. The cathedral. Hmm. Huh? What's the matter, Dean? Nothing. Let's get moving. He's sus, though. Sneering at the power of gods. Did we finish the quest? Oh, we did. <laughs> she talks too much sometimes. So, yeah. A huge statue. A grandiose cathedral. The people of Mondstadt clearly spent a great deal of resources and energy to construct them. But how aware of this was the Animo Archon on receiving this gift? And how much did he give back in return? Faith doesn't ask for anything in return, though. Does it? <laughs> as long as the gods have a clear conscience about it all, there's nothing I can say about it. Shh! We're about to enter the cathedral! Don't say anything bad about the Animal Archon! And actually, the Animal Archon is... Ugh, never mind! I'm doing good. <laughs> I never specifically said I would enter the cathedral. I'll leave you two to mingle with the sisters. Huh? Well, we've done everything else together. You are the honorary knight of Mondstadt. They will surely allow you to poke into these affairs with their utmost trust. Having me tag along would only make them suspicious. Not during the stream. You don't think we would be popular amongst the sisters? Correct. And just as our little friend said, I might say something bad about the church at any time. <laughs> when a non-believer steps onto holy ground, the result is never pretty. Hey, yo. I have never received the favor of the gods in the past. I don't see any reason I would need it now, or in the future either. That's enough about that. While we've been chit-chatting, the Abyss Order continues to act. Thank you. Okay, then we'll just go in ourselves and ask around. I should warn you about one thing. Don't go mentioning the defiled statue inside the cathedral. The Church of Favonius wouldn't ignore the matter of the statue. But if they rashly tried anything against the Abyss Order, it would only ruin whatever element of surprise we may have. Also, meddling in the affairs of the Abyss usually doesn't end well for anyone. Oh, that's Barbara? Hi, Barbara! Honorary Knight! Hi, how have you been? Do you need anything today? But I should first make it clear that if you need to borrow the Holy Lyre to Hermel again, we cannot oblige. It seems she hasn't realized it's just an illusion. Oh, we're here to ask some questions about something. Barbara, have you heard about the first field tiller? Hmm. What's that? <laughs> field tiller. What does it do? Nothing. Uh, of course you wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> okay, next question. Has the church ever lost a statue of the seven? Oh, Paimon. Huh? You're here to ask about that old story? Oh. Well, I didn't expect that. That was such a long time ago, barely Wait. anyone mentions it nowadays. Did they really lose a statue of seven? A long time ago. There was indeed one statue of the Seven that disappeared one night without a trace. Nearly every member of the church joined the search for it, but it was never found. In the church's records, as you might assume, this incident has been called the Lost Statue of the Seven. Okay, that's weird. Mm, of course! <laughs> of course? Uh, nothing? So do you have any other clues? Uh, uh, behind my any other strange stories? <laughs> Sorry, Barbara, but 
We can't tell you about the statue we saw just yet. Like Dane said outside, it's for your own good. Paimon is gonna end up saying something stupid, isn't she? Other strange stories? I'm not sure. Let me think about what other unusual incidents are in the church's records. Mm. Oh, the tyrant's final fury? Mm, no, that's from another time. Probably unrelated. The tyrant's final fury? What is that? Oh, this refers to a time of great danger that engulfed oh. old Mondstadt, the place now known as Storm Terror's lair. Many, many years ago, there was a time when balls of fire would rain from the sky whenever anyone approached old Mondstadt. I isn't that about Canria? Balls of fire raining from the sky? How terrifying! People at that time believed it was a curse laid down by the god of storms, so they referred to it as the tyrant's final fury. This strange phenomenon continued for about a year. No one was ever able to solve it. It just gradually ceased on its own. So bizarre. Right. Later, the theory of the tyrant's final fury became less probable in the eyes of the church. Common reasoning dictates that the god of storms wouldn't shoot fireballs. Perhaps it was something else that caused the disaster. <laughs> anyway, this incident might not be related to the lost statue of the Seven, but I just can't think of any other strange incidents that might be. It's okay. Thanks anyway! There's that pointless word, thank you, again. I can never get used to hearing it. Oh, Rosaria, it's you. If you're looking for the Knights of Favonius, they're busy with those monsters again. Here comes the best booty in Mondstadt. Uh, those monsters? Those monsters that tried to attack Mondstadt last time during the Storm Terror incident? Wasn't that the Abyss Order? They're at it again? Indeed. They're gathering in Wolvenbum, causing great unrest among the wolves. Could it be That's not good. that the Abyss Order is targeting the spirit of Lupus Boreas? Oh, Jesus. <sighs> As for what purpose, I can't say for certain. Master Jean has already headed off to Wolvendam. I must also begin to make a move myself. Then I will go as well. Master Jean said you should stay at the church and continue your work with the clergy. I mean, Rosaria, too bad for you. She's part of my party. <laughs> but you're also a member of the clergy. Don't worry, I'll go to help as well. Right. We'll go give Master Jean a hand. Oh, okay. If the honorary knight will be there, then... Mm -hmm. But please, everyone, be careful. May the animal archon protect you all. Maybe clerics are not bad. <laughs> right. Talk to Dane's leave. Oh, hi, Victor. I guess I already uh, talked to him. Bye, Victor. Where is the Ainsley? Oh, it's morning. Maybe we can take a picture of him. Oh, we can't because of the mission. He has been waiting the entire night. Poor, poor guy. <laughs> Look, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but like the, the knees of the male characters are very low. Like they are all very, very low. It's lower than Ayaka's knees for some reason. Like he has a very long tie. Is it my impression or is it like for real? Like if you look at Kaya the as well. Embraces its duty, as it... Anyway, <laughs> I was just looking at that. I see. Has the Abyss Order already launched a new operation? Apparently, yes. This could very well have something to do with the defiled statue. We should go as well. But what is the Abyss Order going to Wolvendom for? Anyway? Are they looking to do the same as they did with Devalin? Uh, not again! Uh, no, I was not starring. I was just thinking that it was weird. No, <laughs> that's not likely. I noticed it with Kaya, but I thought, okay, maybe I am just bugging out. But then I saw John Lee, and then I was like, wait, his knees are all so low. And then I saw Ayato, and yes, all of them have. Unlike Osile, was who was just suppressed, Andreas died long ago. Today, it is just his spirit that stands guard over Wolvendom. 
That's right, we fought the, the wolf there. The Abyss Herald may just be targeting the spirit of Andreas in an attempt to garner some information from one of the Animo Archon's old companions. Mm. So we're... Yeah, if y'all don't believe, y'all don't believe. I'm telling the truth. Oh, I never noticed that you could see Dragon Spine from here. You know, I actually thought that we would see Albedo in Dragon Spine. Because, like, one of his trailers, he's, like, in an area, a snowy area, right? And I thought maybe we would see him in Dragon Spine, but nope. No Albedo in Dragon Spine. Which is kind of sad. Let's go to Wolverine. Oh yeah, there's my mind place here. Oh, his story quest? Talking about story quest. I think I have... I have three keys. If I... Un I don't remember if I unlock it. I don't remember if I unlock it, I can just... I don't... I don't remember. A lot of Obedo lore is... limited. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the events. Apparently, like, Wanderer as well, there's, like, some stuff that is from past events. So, like, I'm gonna watch it when I get to meet Wanderer and Obedo. I still need to watch like the Tiva teasers and stuff like that because I haven't watched. Albedo. Oh, there's a. Let's dance. <laughs> the Abyss Order. Don't underestimate the enemy. Let's take them now. I am trying. Can you please stop? Whirling snow! Please, oh god. Unthinkable. <laughs> Take flight. That was not very nice. Come on, Pyro Archon. Okay, we did that. The closer we get to the target, the more enemies there are. <laughs> Fits the Abyss Order's style. We should hurry and find Lupus Boreas. Yeah, let's go! I'm... not going any further. Why? Huh? Why not? Is it because you're afraid of fluffy animals? <laughs> Aren't fluffy things cute? It has nothing to do with wolves. <laughs> It's because Boreas was an ancient god, yet he willingly became a servant of the Seven. But... What, why do you hate the gods so much? I cannot possibly agree with his actions. I don't desire any interaction with him. Besides, you're the one people like. I'm... less likable. Okay, you tell that to the fandom, I guess. You really despise the Seven, huh? There's nothing special about gods anyway. Emo. It's just my opinion, but a word of advice. Always be on your guard when around gods. Blood twist, all of the go all of the gods are going to betray us in the end. You shouldn't place too much trust in them. But at the same time, don't go too far in the opposite direction. <laughs> you remember being Don't 17. go trying to overthrow them or hunt them down. 
Even if the god in question is your sworn enemy. Don't trust them and don't hunt them. That's some awkward advice. Does Dane hate the seven or is he protecting them? <laughs> Lest I repeat the failings of my forebears. I will tell you one final fact. Huh? What fact? The destruction of the nation of Kanria by the gods is the reason the Abyss Order now seeks to destroy the nations watched over by the Seven. Then there's revenge involved. Well, enough chit-chat. We should get back to business. I will go take care of the remaining Abyss Order members in the area. Try and keep your visit with Boreas brief. Afterward, let's meet at the entrance to Wolvendom. Up, oh, there he goes. <laughs> what a strange man. Yeah, that's true. You also keep your guard up against unfamiliar gods. I didn't even see what I picked. At the right of dissension in Lyre, your decision was very similar to what Dane would do. When there's a lack of trust, it's best to just avoid the situation entirely. <sighs> Not the easiest situation. I guess. Honorary Knight, Paimon, what are you two doing here? Uh, is Nubin around? Oh, Master Jean! So glad we found you. Rosaria told us that you came here to fight the Abyss Order, so we came to help. Then your help is greatly appreciated. The Abyss Order's sudden offensive is very strange. They have surrounded Wolvendom. I am preparing to send out some knights to fight back. I just scouted out all of Wolvendom, but I did not see you. Rosaria told me that the Abyss Order is going after Boreas. How does Rosaria know but that? The Abyss Order and Boreas. What is the connection between them? They just like to cause trouble. Ah, do they really need a reason? The Abyss Order already went after Devalin. It's not too surprising that they would also go after another one of the Animal Archon's buddies. Hmm. Hmm. That is true. Regardless, whether the reason behind the present threat is clear or not, I will handle the situation. Honorary Knight, please go and check if Lupus Boreas is in any danger. All right, we go. This God's spirit. He does not often see people, but I hear that you have met him before. Maybe it is best that you are also the one to meet him this time. So, if I hadn't done the mission with Razor... That was a very sudden and stupidly loud airplane. Um, if I had not met Razor, I would have to do Razor's mission before doing this one. Eh? Okay, be careful. Thank you for your help, Honorary Knight of Favonius. Airplanes are terrible, I tell ya. He's- Oh, they already got here! Look! Over there, it's Razor! And... The Abyss Herald! Let's go! Oh, hold on. I'll protect us. <sighs> you not welcome here! You tell them, Grazer! <laughs> so the wolf's wretched spirit likes to raise oh, wild no. pups now. He's chained. You claim to be a guardian, yet your once-sharp claws have clearly dulled since your days of godly glory. Ooh, live near a train track? Oh my god, that must have been annoying as hell as well. If you serve us, we can restore your divine powers you once held in the past. Lies. Lies. What the heck is this? He looks like he's in a lot of pain. Oh no, is this the same thing they did to corrupt Devalin's mind? Wolves never surrender. But this can't go on. I'll stop this. No matter how many times you resist us, your efforts are all in vain. Oh god. Here we go. My apologies. Everybody stand back! Sakura swirl! Take that damage! Yeah! <laughs> so rude! Take flight! Let's light it up! Scatter! Whirling snow! 
have such determined will. No matter. This is but a small unforeseen variable. Our grand scheme will not be affected. Bye. It disappeared again. It... Mm, at least we stopped it this time. Thank you. You came. Just in time. Worries, Razor. Human Lubacol. I am ashamed that you must see me in my present state. But still, the Abyss Herald underestimated my strength. Lupus Boreas never refuses trial, but scary outsider, not respect trial rules. Hmm. I too didn't see the trap. It's not your fault. Wait. So you mean the Abyss Order had everything prepared to corrupt Lupus Boreas's mind, then lured him out under the pretense of challenging him in a trial? Thank you. In the future, my claws must get sharper. Aww. You smelled danger <laughs> and came here? We didn't smell it, but... No, we heard about the danger. Paimon's nose doesn't even know what danger smells like. But you know what a, a sticky honey roast smells Besides like. Besides coming to help, we actually have something to ask you about too. Ah, huh? uh, excuse us, Mr. Wolf God. Do you know anything about the first field tiller? I pay no heed to the contraptions of humans. Right. I know not what this field tiller is. Though there was indeed one human-made machine that I can never forget. Human-made machine? It entered into my proving ground by accident, and I mistook it for a challenger. But it could not think, only fight. It was designed as a pure killing machine from top to bottom. Ah, what is going on? I, I am very lost in the storyline right now. What the hell is happening? I eventually damaged it greatly with one of my attacks. Before it fell to the ground, it fled the proving ground. Hmm, by the sounds of it, it's possible that could have been the very first field tiller, right? Could it shoot missiles? Missiles? I do not know this strange word. Uh. As I said, I pay no heed to the contraptions of humans. It could spin, leap high into the air, and even shoot fireballs. Although no match for a god, it was stronger than even many who wield visions. Fireballs? Hey, didn't we hear this somewhere else recently as well? We did. Anyway, this pretty much proves that the first field tiller came to Mondstadt, doesn't it? It sounds like the first one was way stronger than the mass-produced ruin guards that came after. But in this story, it was damaged at the proving ground while fighting the Wolf of the North. Don't know, but did we help? Thank you for the follow. Yes, you were a big help. Thanks. We need to keep investigating something super important. The Abyss Herald may have left, but the Abyss's forces are still attacking. You two be careful. Yes, mm -hmm. I smell more danger. Bigger danger. Where? You two also be careful. The bigger danger is Dane's leave. Well, that was some good intel. 
Quick, let's go tell Dane. Let's tell Dane. Of course, let's go. Uh, where did Dane's leaf go though? Oh, here we go. Intriguing. But I am lost in the storyline right now. I don't understand anything that is happening anymore. Where did he go? Oh, hi. Dang, there you are! Did you see Master Jean? I saw her, but purposely avoided her. Uh, of course you would do that. As both the Lion Fang Knight and acting Grand Master, she naturally would have some reservations towards me. Everybody should have, but we we were just talking to you, I guess. For 500 Mora. If I'm not careful, one day I may find myself becoming the object of one of her investigations. But back to the matter at hand. I defeated some of the Abyss forces, but wasn't able to gather any information. Did you have more success? I see. Well then. We can more or less figure out where the first field tiller ended up. Huh? Really? Just from the Lupus Boreas story? Basically, the Abyss wants the core of the first ring guard and wanted the wolf on their side? No, but like... Is this first ring guard a human or what? <laughs> That's confusing. That information combined with a more comprehensive analysis. For example... The old story you told me you heard in the cathedral. The Tyrant's Final Fury. Exactly. The strange story told to you by that young sister. The fireballs. Long mistaken to be a curse rained down by a deceased tyrant. Ah, Paimon gets it. So the Tyrant's Final Fury was really just missiles fired from the field tiller after it ran from Wolfendom. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it was damaged in the fight with the Wolf of the North, it must have wandered into the ruins of Old Mondstadt and stayed there. Then, whenever anyone got close, pew, pew, boom! <laughs> it would fire a ton of missiles at them. Until one day, it finally broke down for good, and the fireball stopped raining from the sky. Pew, pew, boom! Back then, the people of Mondstadt hadn't seen many ruin guards before, so they came to interpret it as the Tyrant's Final Fury! It mm. looks like we need to make a trip to Storm Terror's lair and comb the entire area. No need? Hmm. Huh. What do you mean? I remember. Huh? You mean... <gasps> oh, Paima remembers too! We saw that abandoned ruin oh. guard sitting atop the tower when we went there before. Can't forget something like that. My oh god, you dropped the toy. <laughs> my my dog is here with this toy. You dropped it. <laughs> he wants me to to play with him. You dropped your toy. Yes, you dropped it. 